Well, plenty of people think drivers simply go too fast through their neighborhood. And a woman in Franklin County says she thinks speed has contributed to dozens of crashes near her house. Now she's on a mission to change that. Fox 43's Jackie DeTore finds out what it takes to lower a speed limit on a Pennsylvania road. How many man boxes have you had? Oh my goodness, about 10. Virginia Almon has lived on Molly Pitcher Highway in Southampton Township for 21 years. A lot has changed since I've moved in. A lot more businesses have come, more factories, the population has grown. In that time, she says she has seen dozens of crashes just within eyesight of her home. And she's lost all of those mailboxes. Our fence has been run down. Our telephone pole was taken out two times within a year's period. But when a tractor trailer drove into a home a few months ago, just a few doors down, Amon had seen enough. I think a semi driving into someone's house should be the wake up call for something to be done. The current speed limit on this portion of Route 11 is 55 miles per hour, which is based on a federal speed limit guideline. She wants it lowered to 45. So she started a petition and contacted Southampton Township and PennDOT. So far, though, nothing has changed. I don't think someone should have to die in order for something to be done. Since it is a state road, Fox 43 finds out chatted with PennDOT about what it takes to lower a speed limit. It's not a matter of just saying it's 45, we want it dropped to 25. Doesn't work that way. There has to be an engineering study. Fritzi Schreffler says that this engineering study needs to be requested by the township, something Southampton Township has not done yet. Township Supervisor Roger Hall says between April of 2022 and the end of March of this year, there were seven crashes on this stretch of roadway, and none of them were speed related. He also says there were seven citations or warnings for speeding that were handed out by state police. So even if that engineering study is requested, Schreffler says that it's rare that study will show that it's a good idea to lower the speed limit. She says it's typically not the road that's the problem, it's driver behavior. For example, we had Route 11 through Camp Hill. Um, people had asked to drop it to 25, it's 35 now. When we went out and took a look at it, we actually saw that 45 might have been a more realistic speed for that because we go with something called the 85th percentile. And that is what, give or take five miles an hour, what 85% of the motorists are doing in that area. Almond says she's going to keep fighting for people to slow down. I don't think it's being taken serious. Now this story isn't over just yet though. The township supervisor says they will set up a speed trailer and work with state police to see if people are really driving too fast on that road. So they're not saying no to the potential of lowering the speed limit just yet. They just want more data. And if you wanna know how the whole process works to change a speed limit where you live, you can check out fox43.com. And if you have a consumer story or scam that you want me to look into, Fox 43 wants to find out. Let me know. Email Fox43finds out at fox43.com or join the Fox 43 Finds Out group on Facebook.